everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Can I do anything for you, Carly? I'm fine, thanks. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. How you doing, Clem? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know? You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. have a look around outside let's have a look around okay doc you want to get this door open about that you've got the combo right no did anyone ever have it look man there were a lot of those things trying to get in here and now we can't get back out onto the street we're also party to some egregious fire code violations Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick.
across the town. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's get in there. Hurry. Shit! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Are you sure? Shit! Oh, oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, can you find anything? Nothing! Wait! That window is screwed! Go! I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up if they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? 
Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway... I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I didn't. Ah. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey. Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? 
In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. No more, please! No more, please! Please! 